How porn is killing your relationship. That's an important topic and you want to listen to this. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. If you have a question, put it in the box and we're going to talk about this and you're going to learn something. How porn is killing your relationship. Now, pornography is a big topic and there's people on both sides and all sides of this subject. You know, there's people who, who want to, the, all the sex slave stuff going on pornography. Uh, there's all the uh, issues around women and men being treated in the way they are. Uh, drugs, suicide rate of people in pornography, all kinds of issues of pornography. But is it affecting your relationship? Well, it can. Let me first start off, if you've had a long history of pornography and you have a sexual addiction and you're addicted to pornography, you tried to stop, you can't seem to do without it, that's an addiction. Now, all addictions affect relationships, alcohol, drugs, sex, food, work. And if you have an active porn addiction, you're staying spiritually, emotionally, and morally immature. And so it's like being in a relationship with a 14 year old. So if you're 50 and your spouse is complaining that you act like an adolescent, they're probably right. So that all by itself affects the way you make decisions, how much emotions you can tolerate, okay? How you make your decisions about right and wrong, how it makes you more vulnerable to be in an affair or hire a sex service, okay? Now, another way that pornography can affect your relationship is if you're not in agreement. If your spouse is opposed to pornography and you have to go underground with it, you're not in agreement. And I've been sitting in the counseling chair for over 35 years, and I learned this. There's no such thing as a secret. You might get away with it for days, weeks, months, years, or even a decade, but there is a day of reckoning where it'll show up on your cell phone or your computer, or they'll find your secret box, and then you're going to have this conversation. So if you're not in agreement and it's a secret, the secret itself is affecting that. And then why don't you just tell your spouse that you're, you want to look at pornography and get their reaction? Work through it. Go to counseling. Find out what's at the core of your need. Is it to be uh, in control, to be celebrated, to be wanted? Is it that you just have a secret? Is it that you want to have more sex than your spouse is willing to have? Well, here's the problem with that argument. When you are involved with pornography, okay, you approach sex different than if you're not. Pornography te teaches you how to have sex with an object. An object that's always willing, always available, never asks you a question, never have to negotiate anything with, thinks you're perfect and wonderful, worships you, and whatever other scenario you come up in your brain. And you literally, because of the endogenous opiates that hit your brain during an orgasm, you literally attach to that world and those rules. Now, when you bring those rules into a relation sex, someone who wants to connect to your heart, know who you are, have you talk to them, meet their needs, okay? and be present and be present before sex, during sex and after sex, totally different set of rules. And so if you're over here practicing basketball and, and your spouse wants to play croquet, it's not gonna work. You're gonna be selfish, self-absorbed. You're gonna want them to be something that they're not, okay? And also just a neurological attachment. You literally neuro neurologically attach to those images. So if you're looking at images of a different race, a different body size, a different shape, or a different voice. These women actresses are saying things I want to hear. Yes, that's why they're saying them. They're actresses, okay? Now, that may be legitimate that you want to hear that you're wanted, okay? I have a great book called Upgrade Your Sex Life, and it teaches your spouse what you need to hear during sex based on your sexual expression, your sex language. Everyone has one, and there's five of them. And your spouse can become an expert at that and it can really help scratch that itch in real time with the real person. You don't have to hire a pornography or a prostitute to hear that you're wanted. Now, pornography is also affecting your relationship because it gets you to objectify uh, people. Women are men. And when you're in public, your spouse or partner is seeing you drift off looking at someone in that objective way. And that can really trigger a lot of um, issues, making them feel insecure and less, less important to you. And also that they see you lusting after that man or woman and knowing that they're not enough. 
that they really don't satisfy your longings. And them feeling that they're not enough isn't a turn on. It doesn't make them want to try harder and doesn't make them want to want you or actually to pursue you sexually. It turns them off. And so that's affecting you. If you're looking at pornography and you're out and about checking out the, the waiter or waitresses and people at the coffee bistro and people at the gym. And, and if your partner's there with you in public, they see you kind of looking around. That affects your relationship. Okay. The other thing is when you are having sex, if you are less present, because during sex, you have to go off to a fantasy state, images or even images about your spouse in different positions or places so that you can reach an orgasm, your spouse can literally feel you leave during that time. And that's negative reinforcement because they're just getting sex. They're not getting made love to because you can't make love to someone while you're thinking about something else. You have to be fully present to make love. So you're in a, a situation where you're getting sex. They're not getting made love to. They feel empty and alone during sex. And it's negative reinforcement, which makes their sexual desire for you go down, which is exactly what you don't want. Now, also going back to the emotional development, because your emotions are somewhat at 14, you might want to get the book called Emotional Fitness and develop your emotional skills because you're going to be hard to deal with because as soon as you feel rejected, you're going to act like a, uh, an adolescent or less. You know, if you get overwhelmed, life's too hard for you because you have boo boo mommy over here and you're stuck in the bottle of pornography all the time. You can't handle life and life is hard at sometimes. And, and if you deal with life, you get stronger. It's kind of like if, if you, if you push a weight, you get stronger. And that's what life is teaching you how to get stronger. But when you avoid pushing it and you go over here and you're masturbating, you spend hours looking at pornography, you get weaker because you're not really pushing in the real world. And so your spouse feels you getting weaker and weaker over time and they're having to over function, over compensate, over parent, over manage the money, over manage things because you're getting less and less mature in the relationship. So pornography has a lot of side effects. None of them are really good. Okay. If you think porn is helping your sex life, it's not watch the YouTube on that. You know, if you're over here looking at pornography, learning basketball rules for someone you're not in bed with, it's not going to apply to him or her who's in your bed, who has a different set of rules. Okay. Learning them is what will give you better sex life and a better relationship. And if you want to learn how to share your feelings, okay, the book upgrade your sex life teaches you how to be better outside the bedroom so that you can share your feelings, connect to them emotionally, spiritually, have a good time with them, explore them, know them, learn how to be in sexual agreement with the real person. And maybe you're not getting enough sex. It could be because you're not showing up making love. It could be they struggle with intimacy and anorexia. They are withholding love from you and that's not about you and you're in real pain. Okay. They're too busy for you. They blame you. They withhold love. They withhold spiritually, they withhold sex. They can't talk about their feelings They're critical about you. And if that's you and you're really married and alone, you're in pain, porn is not your solution, but go ahead and look up intimacy Lots of information there. And we have a married and alone group for the women and the men separately. So you can talk about your pain of not having sex and, and all that. If you're in a sexless marriage, we have a DVD called um, sexless marriage. So there's about eight different reasons why you might be in a sexless marriage. Get that, find out what's going on, get counseling. If you need help to walk through whatever's going on in your life, 719-278-3708, call Heart to Heart Counseling Center. We deal with these issues every day. You need someone who can be compassionate and understanding of your situation and help you walk through this. If you have an addiction, you can get walked through that. If you're in pain from a, 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 a relationship that's not working, we can help you with that. It is time for you to really evaluate this in your life. I hope this information has been helpful for you to consider maybe some things you're not thinking about, or maybe you don't want to hear, or maybe your spouse or your partner is telling you, but you can't hear them because you know, they're them and, that's their personality. But I've worked with thousands of couples and guys have looked at pornography for thousands of hours of their life. And not one of them has been helped in their marriage or in their relationship. Not one because looking at pornography made them a better husband or wife, made them a better lover, made them a better friend. It took them into my office, spending a lot of money to get better. So please don't continue down a road 
that has a known outcome and the known outcome is not what you want. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. If you have a question, put it in the box and we hope to hear from you. Have an awesome day.